Hi YouTubers, today we're looking at changing the smoke alarm. Okay, it's Sweet Tooth 1967 here and we're putting a 9 volt battery in a smoke alarm and this one is actually wired to the house, so it's on a mains wired. So what I've done for speed, I've took this off and it normally comes apart like that. And I'm going to show you what to do that's important for, okay. Okay guys we're back and uh, just to say you're on a basically you're on a flip switch system and what we need to do is make sure that the smoke alarm is off. So we'll flip that down because you are using a wired smoke alarm but because it relies on a backup battery you'll need to knock that off first and then take the smoke alarm off and uh, once we put the smoke alarm on we'll put that back on. Hi right, guys, back again. Um, we took the power off and now there's no power coming into that. So you'll see, we flip that over and you'll see where the battery goes in there. So what we're gonna use today is a Philips 9 volt battery. It says on the back for smoke alarms or low emitting energy. You'll see it's along there. If you're unsure, just ask anyone in the shop these are normally ranging between 59p up to £2, depending on which battery you want, Duracell or whatever. This will do the job. It's not a high, it does, it's not a high drain battery, just something that you're going to need for smoke cars. But again, just look at the back if you're unsure. So, we pop that off. <clears throat> this is a zinc chloride or battery. You see on the back there, you've got your little connector. All right, it's dead simple. You put, again, that to that, that to that, so negative and positive have to go together. So that makes a connection, okay? You just slip that back in there like so. Just that's where it belongs. And you just click that down like so, okay? Right. So we're gonna pop this back up under the wired system here. Now this is the first time I've actually done this. This is an unusual one. So that needs to be into that one. That clicks in like that. So if you can see those need to be connected back into there. This is from the mains. And then these wires, they just get tucked up like so. Now you'll see on the, the smoke alarm, it'll tell you how to open it and close it. And this time there's a little catch. You can put a screwdriver in and it just clicks it. And if I have to pause this video, it's because I'm gonna have to find a way of putting it back. There we go. All right. goes on that one. On these two grommets. To make sure the wires are all tucked away. There we go. So we'll be back in a minute. Oh, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Okay, right, we've popped the smoke alarm back, simple as that. But to dislodge it, just press this button here, like that. That didn't do, and you can just take it off. There you go. Straight off. See? That attaches to that. Some of the smoke arms are on like that. Others are. It's a case of click straight on. Okay, so what we're going to do now, similar as that, we're going to test the, put the power on, see where it goes. Back in a second. Okay, we're back now. A simple case of just flipping that switch. And you might get a few beeps for a while. And you've got a bus right outside. <laughs> Okay, right, we're gonna try the smoke alarm out. Right. So that should be making a sound now. Hold it for about five seconds. And there you go. Now when you test to hush, hold test weekly. It says on there, but just hold it down. If you don't need anything, just hold it for one, two, about five seconds and it'll kick in, especially on the new battery. You might get a bit of, 
beep, 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 but that's just the system calming down. It's about like the same, exactly the same when you get that annoying beep, you know the one, you think, oh, I'm gonna have to change the battery. It'll be the same on this. Some systems are different, but the wired systems require a nine volt battery once a year. So they're not, people think they just put them up, forget about them. It's not the way. They're designed to have a battery backup. But I hope this helped you out guys and girls. And, uh, you know, safe, be safe, smoke free, and uh, hope this helped you out. If you like this video, of course, check my other Sweet 2967 videos on my channel. We'd love to see you guys. If you want to subscribe, see you later.